Hello there. I'm Lori Pavasil, Chick One. And I'm Beth Mills, Chick Two. Part of Two Chicks in a Boat. That's right. So we're here at an auditorium today in the dead of winter in Columbus, Ohio. And uh, we're going to shoot some video just to talk a little bit about life jackets, um, things that you wear, maybe things you don't think about every time you go out to... to uh, fish yeah so we're gonna water safety water safety so we've got a, an installment we're going to talk about dry bag and dry bag clothing we're going to talk about the importance to swim and today i'm going to volunteer to put on my bibs my jacket and my life jacket and get into the water today so as beth goes ahead and gets ready we just want to keep in mind that in, in the winter time and when you're out fishing she's got obviously her tennis shoes her jeans um, sometimes you're going to be wearing thermals if it's really cold out uh, or long johns or, or thermal underwear. She has on um, a sweatshirt underneath her sweatshirt. I think she has a long sleeve t-shirt on and another t-shirt on. She's got her uh, bibs that she's going to put on. And one thing I want to point out is that these bibs are, you can pop those off and that might be important to, um, to discuss a little bit later. They'll pop out if necessary. She's got her jacket ready to go. And now she's ready for a rainy day on the water, a cold day on the water. And I do have to also kind of put a little disclaimer in. Our other gear that we wear is for much colder weather. So this is more of our springtime gear and our summertime rain gear. Um, so winter gear is gonna be even heavier and we're gonna show you that. She's got her hat on and now she's gonna put the most important thing on and that's her life jacket. And it's real important that when you have a life jacket that, and, and we're gonna go over all those safety things, but it fits, she's got it snug, there's no tears in the jacket, she's got it snug, it's, it's not worn out, um, there's no parts that are torn or anything on it, so she's good to go. So, we're gonna get her ready, we're gonna pretend she's on the boat, and she's gonna fly off, so we'll be right back. Yep. Three. Okay, as you can see, Beth jumped in and now her life vest is pulling her up right away. So her head, the type of life vest she has actually keeps her head and face out of the water. Um, the one side is completely deployed. Hopefully the other side is as well. Um, but now she's struggling. She's trying to kick. Go ahead, Beth, move this way. If she was in the water and we could not pick her up quickly in the boat, um, she would probably kick her shoes off to, to lighten her load a little bit. And we'll ask her how she's doing right now. So, Beth, tell me, what was it like? Well, first, I didn't think my life vest was going to engage. So then I felt a little panicked. And then I could hear it give like a, a air pocket and then I could just feel it slightly give me but to be quite honest I wanted it to go a lot quicker than it did. So you wanted it to go off quicker? Yeah because I was having more of a panic attack okay. than I was a relaxed attack even though I'm in a pool. Right and, and how deep <clears throat> is the water here? It's only five foot but still I have a ton of clothes on that's heavy and then I was afraid I'm gonna have to swim over without a life vest right now. Okay. So, and this is getting tight as we keep talking right now. Talk, is it really? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's going to keep me up, but it's tight okay. around my neck. Okay. Which awesome. is probably a good thing, but it doesn't feel great. All right. So we're going to go ahead and, and help Beth get out. But that gives you an idea of that type of inflatable vest um, and what that looks like. Our next volunteer is going to be Tammy, and we're going to give a little bit different scenario. Thanks, Beth. I think key things that Beth said, she's in a five-foot pool. She knows that she can pretty much stand and her feet are going to touch, but it's the panic of not knowing what it's going to feel like when you go off and you're disoriented, right? Yeah, even though I knew exactly where I was, how I, I mean, I was feeling wet, obviously, with all my clothes, but I still, I still didn't have enough, uh, you know, thinking right away to, in order to either pull my life vest or to have it, you know, wait and go off. So it's just the, the waiting that gave me the panic. Yeah, so it's kind of that, that like you said, the panic that hits because you're waiting on it to disengage. So awesome. Well, thanks, Beth. We're going to go ahead and get ready for another shoot and show you a different type of jacket. 
Now, we're going to try something different just because I'm curious. Sometimes when I wear my life jacket, I wear my big, heavy winter coat over top. And we're going to see if this works. But this is also a different life jacket. Um, this is automatic floating jacket. So it, it will not, it, it's a Coast Guard rated. Hold on one second. Um, it's Coast Guard rated. It's a type three jacket. So you'd use it for water skiing or whatever. Um, but but I got it for fishing to go over a bunch of clothes. But Beth's going to go ahead and put it on underneath. Now, one thing I will say, this jacket's too big for her, obviously, because we're a little bit different in size. A little bit. Just a tad. But we want to make... Oh, you got to zip it up. Okay, so this is one of the things that actually people do make the mistake. It has a zipper on it. So to be safe and to be most effective, we need her to zip that up. And now she's going to go ahead and buckle it. She's going to make sure the straps are as tight as they are, as tight as she can get. And then I'm going to give her this big heavy jacket. So this is a jacket that I might wear out fishing during the winter. It's heavy duty, has its little Ziploc thingamabobs. She's good to go. She's going to get up pretending she's on the side of the boat or on the boat. And now she's going to go ahead and fall off. Now, one thing I'm going to suggest is that you know, I mean, it looks like we're taking a wave or we're going super fast and you feel the boat kind of going out of control. Cross your chest. Cross your hands. Cross your chest. Yep. That's true. So if she feels herself going out, we're going to go ahead and shoot and see what that looks like. She's in her things and she's going to jump backwards. And instantly she pops up. Now. I want to take this a little bit step further. Beth, if you can hear me, I want you to go ahead. It's, I can't get to you. The boat, the boat has drifted off. I want you, it, it, the water's cold, so you could keep that on, okay? But let's say the water's not so cold and you feel like you're weighing down. Go ahead and take that jacket off. Do you feel lighter? Okay, go ahead and kick your shoes off. And now remember your buckles. She's still floating the whole time. She's got her sweatshirt on. She's not going to take her jacket off at all because I would be unsafe. But she can take her bibs off and that's saving her some weight. So if she was in the water for, for quite a while, she might do that. But the one thing you also have to guard against too is hypothermia. It's pretty cool. My, my shoes float. My shoes are floating. How do you feel? Come on over. A hundred percent better. I, <clears throat> I thought I, I, I would be fine with an automatic uh, PDF or P, <laughs> person, <yeah. laughs> life vest. We'll go with life vest. I thought I'd be fine with it. I knew that it would come on. But since the experience I just had with one side going off and not the other side, <clears throat> and then trying yours that will float automatically a hundred percent I will take the one that you float automatically I had no panic how did you feel when you took the like you you got rid of your bibs you got rid of your the jacket and your shoes what's pretty interesting though is those are all floating which I didn't think they would so so that's pretty cool uh, it it felt like I shed it a hundred pounds off it like I was able to quickly take them off, take my bibs off, which I didn't even think about until you were talking about it. And then once I took everything off, it was like I had a, a little bit more sense of calm because I'm still in the water, but then uh, I just felt 100% better. Awesome. We'll go ahead and get you out. And what we're going to do next is we're going to weigh all of her wet clothes. Um, and you guys are going to get an idea to see how much her wet clothes weigh. So now we're going to tear it, and now it reads zero. So that's exactly what our tournament guys do, and then they put the fish in here and weigh it. So we're going to go ahead and put this stuff in here. Go ahead, Beth. And, and the one thing is you notice, Beth has kept her jeans on 
and sh her shirt on. Um, so obviously this is a little bit less than what she is, was actually wearing in the water. Okay, now she's going to go ahead and put that on. And that weighs 18.13. So 18 pounds. And this was that she shot with the first life jacket that deploys when it gets wet. So now we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the stuff in it. And she's putting in the winter coat. Oops, the winter coat and the other life jacket. Oh, and her hat. That had to be 20 pounds. Okay. So we're at zero again. She's going to put this in. And that is a 20, 26 pounds is what she had in water. Now, for us fishing, what would we really like that to be? The biggest bass we ever caught in our life. And the biggest bag of bass. Can you imagine catching five bass? Yeah, one, one or five. One or five. Five bass. So 26 pounds is what she just had in the water. And that 26 pounds is a great big giant bag of bass here in Ohio. So hopefully we'll get a bag that big this year. Just want to point out, we've got our dry clothes and our wet clothes measured up there. The wet clothes obviously is a lot harder for people to, to stay afloat. And I just want to tell you a little bit about our life jacket safety. There's all different types of life jackets. The only way they are going to keep you alive is if you are wearing them. And that takes me to our next video. We're going to be working with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. We're going to do some interviews about the different types of life jackets um, and get some feedback and input from them on the, the kind of accidents they see in the water here in Ohio. Um, and we want to make sure that you tune in for that. That video will be coming out here in the next couple of weeks. Last but not least, I want to make sure that we thank our sponsors and all the people that put our video together.